Now the modernizing economy. The Japanese government raised funds by levying the agriculture taxes because the government wanted to increase their funds. The Japan's first railway line from Tokyo to Yokohama was built in 1817 to 72. Machines required for textile industry that was also imported from the Europe. Now the foreigners uh, techni technicians employed to train workers and to teach universities and the schools because they were also wanted the new technology that there was people were also knows about the uh, European technology. So they were also employed the foreigner uh, technician in their own country. Japanese students were also sent abroad that to learn the uh, Europeans uh, or the other countries that to get the knowledge. In 1872, modern banking institutions were introduced in Japan. The government helped companies like the uh, Mitsubishi and the Sumitomo, providing subsidies and tax benefits to become major shipbuilders. So these two companies, they were also, the government provided the subsidies and the tax benefits because they also wanted that these two companies were based the ship. Now the, so the Japanese trade carried through, through Japanese ships. Okay. And uh, uh, now the Jai Batsu, a large business organization controlled by individual families. They dominated the Japanese economy till Second World War. The population increased from 35 million in 1872 to 55 million in, in 1920. So the population increased in Japan. So to reduce the population, uh, government actively encouraged migration because uh, their area was limited. So the government uh, on that time did not want that their population increase. So they encouraged the people that to migrate from this country. The people migrated first to the northern island Hokiko, Hokido, and then it was largely autonomous area where the indigenous people I knew lived in this area Hokido. Then the Hawaii and the Brazil, the growing colonial empire of the Japan on that time, as industries developed, people shifted to towns. In 1925, 21% of the population lived in the cities. In, 18, in 1935, the figures had gone up up to the 32. So here we see that the population also increased in the Japan. Now the, we are talking about the industrial workers uh, of Japan. The number of the people manufacturing increased 7 lakh in 1872, uh, 4, 40 lakh in, in 1930. Okay, uh, most of them working in units employing less than five people, neither machinery nor electrical power. Over half of those employed in modern factories were the women. It was women who organized first modern strike in 1866. In 1900, number of men began to increase, but only in 1930, men outnumbers women. The size of the factories enlarged from less than five workers to more than 100 workers. So here we see the size of the factories also enlarged, okay, and uh, uh, the workers, okay, they were also increased in the, in the factories of the Japan. The rapid and the unregulated growth of the industry led the environment destruction because the uh, industry also developed in the Japan. So effect of that industry is also going on on the environment. Environmental destructions uh, on that time, they saw uh, the environment also uh, polluted on that time. Now the uh, Tanka Toso elected to the first uh, house of the representatives launched first agitation against the industrial pollution in 1897 with 800 villagers in mass protest forcing the government to take the action. Okay, so uh, because on that time there was a pollution, 
and the people they were also aware the japanese people they were aware about that pollution and they never want their environment be uh, destructed like in with the because of the industry okay student or uh, this uh, this uh, topic is completed thank you